yes friends how are you <coughs> how's your life going on today we are going to talk graph models for process representation in distributed system these models describe how the processes and threads are arranged into system the relation between two processes depends on the synchronization and communication now question question is that what what do you mean by synchronization synchronization means the communicating processes should be executed serially with some certain order but sometimes the ordering is not necessary for these processes here we are discussing the three graphs models to illustrate different views of process interactions okay so we will discuss graph models now first synchronous process graph model the synchronous process graph shows the precedence relationship and a partial ordering of a set of process by the dag direct acyclic graph okay dag stands for what direct acyclic graph these graphs can also be used to analyze the total completion time <coughs> of a set of cooperating processes so in the precedence graph the directed edges show a synchronous communication of messages from sender to receiver the synchronous communication occurs at the completion of a process and the beginning of its successor process that receives the result of the previous as an input so in the directed graph processes have finite lifetime okay so it is it is all about synchronous process model okay if we talk about asynchronous process graph model see the undirected edges in the graph model indicates the existence of communication path and same dependency between processes these graphs are used to study processor allocation for optimizing inter process communication overhead so the communication is more precisely specified in asynchronous process graph model than in the synchronous process graph because communication time and process is not specified in asynchronous process graph as opposed to directed graph processes life <coughs> a processes uh, live indefinitely in the undirected graph okay so there are three types of communication patterns for this graph model first one way second client and server and third peer okay so one way an application process sends messages and expects no reply example is board cast of information okay next client and server it's a two way communication it makes a request and receives a reply client sends the request and server fulfills the request next peer peer communication is a systematic two way exchange of messages it is commonly used for coordination among peer processes so using communication terminology they correspond to simplex half duplex full duplex communication respectively so here uh, this is a synchronous process graph it is asynchronous process graph and communication pattern you can pay attention here <coughs> okay so uh, it is showing a precedence relations okay and here one way client and server and peer so this is graph models for process representation you can pay attention here right now uh, let's go to time space model both the two types of model were suitable only for uh, performance analysis but this time space model is sufficient to describe the interaction among processes time space model is a better representation of communication and precedency relations this model this model represents the communication path and precedence relations between the events and actual communications so the corresponding precedence or communication graph can be derived easily from the time space model okay here here we are uh, we are getting processes p1 p2 p3 p4 and uh, this one is communication and okay and here space okay so uh, you can pay attention here this is time space model now it's visible properly okay a time space model for process interaction right next 
states and events in a distributed system okay <clears throat> so now we will talk about states and events so a global state is one when all the processes had perfectly synchronized clocks and could agree on a time at which each processes would record its state when a process sends a message to another process of ds events occur ordering of event is important in order to achieve proper functioning of ds okay so we will talk about local and global states and events see if we talk about local and global states each entity in a system has its own state called local state it can be categorized as state of a memory cell is the value contained in it may be called local state second state of cpu is contains of psw and gprs state of process is also local state of the component state of memory allocated to it cpu state if running state of interprocess communication so the state of an entity is a local state okay and the state of process pk at time t ascii t global state it is the collection of local states of all entities at the same instant of time what it is a collection of local states of all entities at the same instant of time next what do you mean by event okay an event can be sending receiving a message over a channel or other no message involved now what is channel an interprocess communication path is called channel process state changes when an event occurs in it next event event is represented as follows process id old state new state event description channel and masses okay what process id old state new state event description channel and messages and channel and messages are if event does not involve sending or receiving of a masses here according to diagram here you can see a uh, change of state in process okay old state that is new state okay and it it is called event okay next time clock and event precedence okay coordinated universal time defines the atomic time utc signals are synchronized and broadcast regularly from land based radio stations and satellites covering many parts of the world okay global clock accepted clock that can be accessed from different sites of a distributed system with identical results and it can't be implemented in practice due to unbounded communication delays next alternative use cl local clocks in processes local clocks should be reasonable well synchronized now <coughs> event precedence okay here even to e2 indicates event even and and precedes e2 in time okay event ordering implies arranging a set of events in a sequence such that each event in the sequence precedes the next one so a total order exists exists if all events that can occur in a system can be ordered a partial order implies that some events can be ordered but not all events can be ordered so a causal relationship is used to is used for a precedence okay now here rules for ordering of events in a distributed system <coughs> see uh events uh one is category one is a description of rule category events within a process the operating system performs event handling so it knows the order in which events occur within a process next events if dif if different processes okay in a causal relationship okay such as a cause and effect relationship an event that corresponds to the cause precedes an event in another process that corresponds that corresponds to the effect okay so transitive precedence the precedence relation uh, is transitive okay 
here uh, we are getting uh, e2 and e3 so we are having three categories events within a process events if difference processes and transitive precedence okay these are the ordering of events in a distributed system so friends uh, this is this is all about uh, graph model and states and events okay <coughs> Once again, we go through it. Okay, first of all, we discuss uh, graph models, synchronous process graph model, and asynchronous process graph model. Okay, <coughs> we discuss uh, three types of communication patterns: one-way, client-server, and peer. Next, um, we discuss a time-space model. Okay. And uh, after then we discussed states and events in a distributed system. States are uh, local and global states. Okay. <coughs> and here uh, we discussed uh, time clock and event precedence. Okay. And rules for ordering of events in a distributed system. Okay. So this is all about uh, some points of uh, some points in distributed system. I hope you must have got knowledge. Thank you. Thank you very much.